My name is Mark Borthwick, I'm the consultant pharmacist for critical care here at the Oxford uh, University Hospitals NHS Trust. Our patients currently sit in a, uh, a facility that is below ground level where the existing lighting, the natural daylight that comes in is, is quite high level. It's a bit dark, a bit dingy, it's a bit old and tired. The ability to deliver the project at speed was really, really important, but also the ability to deliver the project from a cost perspective to quite a tight budget. So these were really important factors for selecting a partner. So this new building uh, will be bright, fresh. It will have uh, full length windows to let the light flood in. And as the patients improve, they need that day night rhythm that, that is very difficult to achieve uh, in an underground uh, setting that we're in at the moment. The project currently being delivered is a five storey adult intensive care unit containing 48 beds. It will be one of the biggest in the country and it will house all of the, the intensive care beds at the John Radcliffe Hospital. The design period for this project was a complicated one. We needed to start construction before we'd finished design, but working with MTX and all of the stakeholders in the building worked very well. MTX were flexible with changing designs as we needed to, and I think we, we got there successfully. MTX have been involved in this project from its very conception at Reba Stage Nought. We were involved in the strategic definition. We were involved in selecting the, the site and its suitability, obtaining planning permission, and all of the early stage design work. The first three floors are medical floors with isolation units, bed bays and treatment rooms, there's some admin offices. Then we have a four floor plant area supplying all the uh, uh, air, power, everything for the building. With all modern methods of construction there is um, various ways that that innovation can be added. With this particular project there are uh, over a hundred uh, volumetric uh, building blocks which have been constructed away from site um, in parallel with the substructure being um, completed. These two parallel activities allow us to work very, very quickly uh, to be able to construct the building whilst minimising the disruption to site. We were involved, the clinical team involved in the design from the very start and um, MTX have communicated with us all the way along and asked our opinion and have listened to any comments we've made and um, have acted on them. The commissioning process on any project is always a challenge. The key to it is involving the team early on in order to make sure that it's as seamless as we can do. We have a dedicated commissioning management team that are brought on months before we start the commissioning process itself. The main challenge I think we faced on this project was the timescales we were working to. MTX were particularly flexible with delivering within the timescales we needed and we were able to work with them to give them the resources they needed to deliver it. One massive success of this particular project is the relationship between not only the site delivery team but also the client. We've had such a close working relationship throughout and I don't think it could have been achieved without such a positive working relationship. We've succeeded in an amazing project because the first module landed at the end of March 2021. So in 10 months, we've got this building almost fully functioning during a time where we were building through a pandemic. One of my main responsibilities on the project is actually showing people around the building before they do move in to help with orientation. And you can sense the excitement in the room as you do show them around the building. Uh, for me, the project highlight has to be seeing the, the clinician's face towards the end and the excitement that they have to be operating in such a fantastic space. I think this building is going to be fantastic for patients, for staff, and for the whole population in the area. The impact that this new building is going to have on the clinical team and the patients that we care for is, is almost indescribable.